you know, as far as parents go, then, you know, with, with trying to, to help kids, um, what are some healthy alternatives, um, for responding when, when we see kids getting frustrated and then not doing what we usually do, <laughs> like we just talked about. <laughs> so, I mean, a lot of it is, is personal work. Uh, mm -hmm. So, like, a lot of it is when the child is having the emotion, well, that doesn't mean anything about me or to oh, me, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. And then at that point in time, you're able to kind of look at the situation from a more logical perspective, mm -hmm. accept what's going on. Okay, what happened here? They're frustrated. They're frustrated at the software or they're frustrated at their homework or their whatever, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And, but now the conversation is, is, is going to become more natural, as, especially if the parent understands that it's okay to be frustrated. It's okay to be frustrated with your homework sometimes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's what I tell my, my, my child. I mean, he's only five, but mm -hmm. um, like sometimes he's crying. I say, well, you know what? It's okay to cry. Mm -hmm. And that's I'll be honest with you, like maybe 50% of the time he might stop right away. Sometimes it's... <laughs> Sometimes it's a little bit more traumatic or dramatic. Yes, or yes. However you want to call it. But <laughs> right. <laughs> about half the time, you're like, oh, okay, well, then I'm good. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, and, and so that's interesting, you know, that if that's how you handle it in your home, yet he still uses that emotion grabbing um, technique yeah. that I think every child does. And as a parent, we, we really have to reflect that is um, what you're talking about and, and allow them well, to, to see As it. human beings, it's important for us to all realize that we all have emotions, right? Even mm -hmm. adults throw a, a tantrum. It doesn't look the same way, <laughs> right. but every now and then we, we just kind of flip out and nothing, nothing makes sense to everyone else sort of mm -hmm. story, you know? Right. So like, you got to expect that's going to happen to the child. But more than that, I mean, when children are born they they have to cry to get our attention and because they don't have the capability to own their own uh uh well-being mm -hmm. right we actually have to take care of them so the crying and the the response to the crying it makes a lot of sense it's just yeah yeah determining yeah. when it's time to let go of that and right mm -hmm. the sooner you do it the better but of course they they're going to have learned that yeah like these emotions or these noises Oh, they garner point. the attention of the yes. parent. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's kind of a weaning process that um, we have to wean ourselves off as well as our children. <laughs> we have to wean ourselves <laughs> off. Because that's our natural response is, is to, to kind of placate that, that, um, that grabbing that they, they have. Um, I mean, focus. heck, if I'm thinking about something else, my child could ask me, here, just, I'm trying to... <laughs> 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 so it's I mean it you're right it's natural right it's just mm -hmm. it's instinctive almost yeah yeah